All right, I'm going to do my best for this to not be an incredibly long video, but it's going to be an informative one. Um, I have this miniature, you know, what do they call this, ultra small form factor Dell here. Actually, you know what? I'll take the uh, DVI cable off first. But I don't have the power cord for it. But what I do have is an extra power supply. Now, I did a little bit of research on this. Now, what I'm going to do, this is not a permanent solution. This is me finding out if this computer even works. The bottom three, you have three 12 volt leads. Technically, I could do this with a. Uh, well, not really. I don't think I could actually do this with a. Actually, I just put that in the wrong mode. Good thing it's not turned on, right? <laughs> Doesn't really matter which ones of these 12 volt leads I put in here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pull the power supply apart the way I wanted to. So, this is kind of a janky setup. And then we're going to take a ground, which is the black wire, and we're going to put that guy there. The green wire, as you should know already, if you've done anything with uh, hacking power supplies in the past, you know that the green wire is your jump lead, is actually how it powers on. I'm doing this in a really crappy way. You can tell this is my first time. Got a certain song by Madonna stuck in my head now. Probably should not have admitted that, especially on camera. I was going to joke about editing it out, but you know what? Y'all know me. Alright, so I'm going to take the ground. What well, I'm doing now, because what I wanted to do was actually pull the pins out of the uh, connector, but that wasn't working right. So, right now I'm pushing bare wire in against a male pin. So I'm going to take this green wire, I'll fold her over a little bit on the top, that goes in the top right, and then the rest of these are all grounds. I don't think I cut enough grounds open or down. Oh, no, no, yeah, I did. Okay. So what we're going to do is get these other two grounds on, and then I'm going to flip the uh, switch on the power supply. And, uh, ow. Just stab myself with a piece of wire. And if this works, I'm just going to see if this machine will boot up. Okay, the lights just flashed on the computer. I'm showing the, uh... Looks like it's going through its boot-up sec sequence. Oh, crap. This one... <coughs> forgot to plug in. So let's see what happens now. Alright, it's coming on. Crap, I'm gonna get on the F2, F2, F2. I'm gonna crank you up a little bit. I had the flash on on the camera. But uh, let's see here, what do we have processor wise? A 1.8 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM. It thinks it's 2007. Oh well. We'll just uh, go past this, see what happens. This is the one that was trash picked, by the way. So, being that this functions, I'll gladly pay the $10 for one of these. 
on uh, on eBay. Okay, so I can't do anything with this right now anyway. But what I wanted to tell you, show you is how to start up one of these without a uh, without actually having a power supply. I feel like for some people, my audience, this might actually be very useful information. So I actually enjoy doing this. I don't even care. I'm going to... I might mess around with this and uh, put uh, XP back on it or do something. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say thank you for watching and have a blessed day.